everybody. Hey, Ali Flores here again with OrlandoVacation.com. And we've got a fun video for you this time. When the people you love are getting married in Disney World, you've got even more reason to be excited. Yes, they're in love. Yes, they're coming together. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Here's why you should be excited. You get to go to Disney too, all right? However, it can make certain things tricky, like how do you find the perfect wedding gift that won't take up your entire suitcase? We've got the details that will help you plan accordingly. But first, if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of new and helpful videos for planning your next Orlando vacation. All right, let's get into the wedding gifts. Remember that you don't want to tote it and neither do they. Okay, you've probably already considered that you don't want to buy a huge blender that you have to pack on the plane. But think about the newly married couple too. They don't want to travel home with bags and bags full of gifts. In fact, even if you choose a smaller gift and assume it won't take up too much room, imagine how much room it would take up if everyone invited did the same or just half. Like the best gift is one that takes up zero room in their bags. Hmm. How is that possible? I'll tell you. Make sure to check the registry. Most people who have a destination wedding will have a registry that gives them all the information they need. A popular option is honeymoon registries where instead of sending a gift, you can purchase part of their honeymoon for them. Those with small budgets may buy a special experience for them, like a couple's massage, while parents and others who want to give a significant gift would pay for their flights. See what I'm going? If they have a more traditional registry, say at a department store, then the registry likely includes information on where the gifts can be sent. You can buy them well before the wedding and choose the date you want them sent. Make sure you don't make assumptions. If the couple already lives together, then it's likely they'll be sent to their home. But if they don't, then gifts could go to the bride or to a family member. Consider gift cards. If the couple isn't registered anywhere or you want to give your own type of gift, consider a gift card. It could be to a restaurant, their favorite store or a, a grocery store. Every new family needs groceries. You could also buy gift cards for several places and include instructions to have a date night on you. The possibilities, really, they're endless. Oh, it's one of my favorite tips. Give them the gift of a clean house. Yeah, I got your attention. Time and time again, a gift that new couples routinely list as their favorite wedding gift is the gift of a cleaning service. Whether you want to do a one-time deep clean for a home they've lived in for quite a while, or you want to give them monthly cleanings for six months or a year, this takes the pressure off their new union and allows them to enjoy the comforts of a clean home. All right, if you're looking for more tips and tricks for your next Orlando vacation or need help planning, be sure to check out our website at orlandovacation.com where we offer the best discounted prices and have a variety of blogs to help you make the most out of your Orlando vacation. All right, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.